Now the requirements of a disciple according to Flower. First is dedication. And until one has that, there's no use in going further on the path. Second is integrity. Integrity that would not even be tempted to steal, be immoral, or deceitful. It's interesting, you mentioned all these things tonight, Blake. <laughs> Third is caring for others. The path of a mystic is much love and is love lived and mingling with others and helpful, which reminds me of so many here in the, in, at Quest Haven. Fourth is the requirement of trust in higher direction and to learn to use extrasensory perception. The fifth qualification is holy obedience and that is involved in always carrying through the holy orders that the disciple would be receiving. The sixth requirement is tireless self-giving. Constant work on inner as well as outer for mankind. And she did mention that that was one of the things that I guess her husband, Lawrence, was when he passed over and she had talked with him. He, he wished that he had done more, but it's my understanding that he was always busy here on this third dimensional plane working for Quest Haven. The seventh requirement for a disciple is unceasing inner work upon themselves. That disciple needs to be unceasingly working on the inner work for himself. And then going back to Lawrence, I do know that, that he did so much. I've been re I read the songs from the House of Pilgrimage during this Easter uh, Lenten period now, and I would highly recommend that book to people online if they are familiar with Quest Haven and also to people here. Not only that, but also study with the disciplines of the Holy Quest. <laughs>